Zach, Zach, do you have any sewing skills? I have no sewing skills. <laughs> Actually, I had, I was trying to put on a tux shirt one night and I leaned over to get some and all the studs popped off onto the floor because the buttonholes were too big. I had to figure out how to sew them in there. It was, it was a nightmare. I thought about not even going to the event, uh, but I figured it out. So that is uh, one thing that I'm just inept at is uh, sewing. Let's check out what we've got outside right now. And uh, it is 85 degrees, the southeast wind at five miles per hour, and there's more humidity, no doubt about it, than this time yesterday. That dew point's up to 69. This time yesterday, it was in the low 60s. And that difference, you can really feel it. It's 85, but it feels like 89. And other temperatures out there are in the mid to upper 80s, and even a few low 90s. Tappahannock continues to lead the charge here at 93 degrees. It's 91 down in Emporia, but just 81 in West Point. They benefited from a little thunderstorm that moved through the area. We'll have more rain and storms tomorrow, but the severe weather threat is low, so that's a good thing for us. And then hotter and drier weather will develop for us Thursday through Saturday, Saturday being the 4th of July. Storms possible again late this weekend, so it looks like we'll start to ramp things up again Sunday on into early next week as well. All right, let's get a look through our diamond cam right now, and we have partly cloudy skies. If you get a little shade from one of those fair weather clouds, consider yourself lucky. There's not much out there. I am watching this outflow boundary, and this is from an area of dying thunderstorms over in the middle peninsula, and you can see this little line here. It's advancing back to the west. It serves as a little mini cold front, and a lot of times we'll see new little showers or thunderstorms develop on that. That may not last very long, but we could see something develop closer to the Richmond area based on that outflow boundary. More clouds down to the south more sunshine up north until you get up in New England. You can see these showers developing around this area of low pressure. That's the one that's going to bring us a better chance for showers and storms tomorrow. The overall flow is a trough in the east and also a trough out west and this little skinny ridge in between and that is going to expand. So we're going to see more heat building in across the eastern United States this weekend and in the next week. I think you're going to hear more heat headlines for areas up north and including the Mid-Atlantic that are seeing some pretty high heat and humidity next week. Lows tonight will be in the mid to upper 60s and a few spots around 70, and then high temperatures tomorrow back up into the mid and upper 80s. Here's your sky cast. We will have a better chance for showers and thunderstorms tomorrow. It will not be a washout. There'll be dry periods in there, but the best chance of storm is going to be late morning into the mid afternoon hours, peaking at about 60%. So for the rest of tonight, not much going on out there, just partly cloudy skies and not much happening early tomorrow morning. But as the day wears on, we'll see pop up showers and some thunderstorms in there and all this activity will go away as we lose the daytime heating. I don't expect a whole lot on Thursday. This model puts a good bit in there across eastern Virginia. I do think that's overdone, though, for Thursday. All right, here's a look at your temperature trend over the next week. It's hot, and it should be hot. This is a look at the first seven days of July, and we only have 180 in there, 88 tomorrow. I do think that we're going to have some heat this weekend into next week. There's a look at your seven-day forecast. Pretty good chance for showers and thunderstorms tomorrow, and then a slimmer chance Thursday, then a few dry days in there before we see showers and storms returning late this weekend.